the College Football Week 2 Viewing Guide. And I'm excited about this. Uh, I think we've got some pretty interesting games going on this weekend. You you look at the slate initially, and it's, yeah, you know, you got a couple of big ones here and there. But overall, very interesting games to pay attention to. Let's go and pull it up. Uh, it's by the guys over at cfb.guide. That's, uh, you can put that in your browser and go set up your own TV schedule. So go ahead and check it out. Um, but I'm looking at this. If you look up here, you got uh, Louisville at UCF. These are the Friday games. And then Boise State at New Mexico. Uh, New Mexico looked very much improved. I still think Boise is going to smoke them. But, uh, but we, we shall see. Then on Saturday... You got a lot of games in that noon slate that are very interesting to me. All right, so Alabama, Texas, obviously big name brands. The game is in Austin, game day, uh, big noon kick, whatever it is, all that stuff is going to be there. But uh, I like South Carolina at Arkansas. I want to see what those two teams are because that South Carolina offense was not great. Arkansas now has uh, some injury concerns, and uh, you know Arkansas was not super impressive to me in that win over Cincinnati. Uh, ESPN 2, Missouri at Kansas State. What exactly is Missouri? I know they got some superstar wide receivers. Do they have a quarterback that can get them the ball? Uh, and then Adrian Martinez uh, for Kansas State. I do want to see that. North Carolina at Georgia State is on ESPN U in the noon time slot. Uh, I think every game that North Carolina plays now is going to be must watch. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And Georgia State, uh, I mean, it. they didn't. They should have covered that game against South Carolina. <laughs> I mean, they, all the special teams, snafus, all that mess. I mean, obviously, this was a very Beamer style of win. If you ever watched Frank Beamer, uh, his son doing the same stuff. Two blocked punts, uh, you know, at field goal, all that kind of mess, right? Two 50-yard field goals. I mean, college kickers aren't supposed to do that. CBS Sports Network at noon has got UTSA, UT San Antonio, heading to Army. And that one is going to be incredibly interesting. Army... Uh, could go to 0-2 if they lose this game. And same with UTSA. Like These are two very interesting uh, kind of G5 teams. A 12 o'clock game. Uh, this is at 12 o'clock Central, by the way. God's time zone. You all know this. Uh, South Alabama at Central Michigan. The, these are two teams I'm very interested in from a G5 perspective. Uh, I like what Kane Womack's doing. I, I like that over at South Alabama. Uh, I'm just curious about the roster, etc. He's really working on stuff. He's got that defense playing really well. Uh, and then, of course, Jim McElwain's offense at Central Michigan, just rolling with Lou Nichols and Daniel Richardson. Uh, moving into the afternoon time slot, 2.30 p.m. Central Time, Tennessee at Pitt is on ABC. Now, that's awesome. That's going to be a good game. Uh, App State at Texas A&M. Like, obviously, everybody watched App State against North Carolina. Uh, I think Texas A&M, a little bit better defensively, obviously. But I'm so curious to see Haynes King again. The quarterback at Texas A&M. I want to see what he looks like, uh, but that's on ESPN too. Uh, again, the Anxiety Bowl that I mentioned earlier, CBS Sports Network. You got Memphis at Navy. Uh, that's two thirty p.m. Central. I'm again very curious what they're going to do. Memphis at, has not covered a single spread on the road under Ryan Silverfield, and now he goes on the road to a Navy team that just lost to Delaware last week. Just saying. Uh, you move into the 5 o'clock time slot here, and ESPN Plus has got Kansas at West Virginia. Kansas looked good in Week 1. And, and West Virginia did look good in a loss, but uh, I would highly recommend to Neil Brown, do not lose this game to Kansas. Uh, Lance Leipold is building a culture there. He has got, uh, he's got a player at quarterback. I'm just That's going to be a fun game to watch. Um, along with that, at 6 o'clock, you've got Kentucky at Florida on ESPN. Of course, we talked about the suspension stuff going on at Kentucky, and we saw what Florida is capable of, especially at home at night. That's that's going to be a pretty good spot. USC at Stanford on ABC at 630. Uh, you know, another chance to see Lincoln Riley. Uh, if he comes out and loses this game at Stanford, <laughs> I mean, what, are, what in the world are we going to do? Uh, they lost to Stanford last year, and they fired Clay Hilton. No, I don't think they're going to fire Lincoln Riley. But whew, uh, Stanford, you know, looked better in game one than they did last year. They got everybody back healthy, so that is definitely a step in the right direction. Uh, at that same time, 6.30 p.m. Central Time, you've got Arizona State at Oklahoma State. This is an interesting one. Everybody wants to count out Herm Edwards, et cetera. 
And and maybe this thing falls apart on them. Maybe it does. Oklahoma State, though, week one, man, they got the Gundy ball back. They are moving fast. They are throwing the ball around. Spencer Sanders looked good. I think he's better than Emory Jones, who is the quarterback, of course, transferred from Florida over to Arizona State. But uh, but Arizona State's got Xavier Valade, like all these different kind of things. So, you know, we'll we'll see about that one. I think it could get interesting. You move ahead about 30 more minutes. You got Boston College at Virginia Tech. That's a 7 p.m. Central Time kick, uh, and that's on the ACC network. Uh, two teams that started 0-1 that both expected to be 1-0. How much anxiety will there be for this one? Uh, I don't think Brent Pry's got anything to worry about. Obviously, he's in year one. Jeff Halfley, um, you keep losing games like like to Rutgers and stuff, uh, you might be in trouble, especially when you got like a a sneaky NFL draft pick kind of kind of quarterback there uh, with Phil Dracovich. But ooh, just rough. And then finally, the nightcap. I mean, it's going to be awesome, just awesome. Baylor at BYU. That's a really really good game. Um, that's on ESPN nine fifteen p.m. Then at nine thirty, you've got Oregon State. At Fresno State, uh, the Beavers looked good last week. And, of course, you got Jeff Tedford, the uh, the head coach at Fresno State, Jake Hayner doing his thing. I mean, he beat he beat a Pac-12 team last year. Now he gets one at home. We'll see. Uh, Mississippi State at Arizona is the full nightcap, the 10 p.m. I mean, that is peak Pac-12 after dark with Mike Leach going to uh, face Jaden DeLora and uh, – uh, good gracious, uh, Arizona, Jacob Cowling. So, Arizona looked good week one against San Diego State. Uh, probably a lot of points there, I would imagine. Uh, and, you know, wacky stuff is going to happen in that game because, my gosh, it's a 10 p.m. kick in, uh, in Tucson. Like, let's go. Let's go. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.